Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today we are checking out a brand new handmade outfit and that is going to be the Chinese Specialist Suit by Raoul's Boss. Now this mod kind of flew under the radar a couple days ago and I really wanted to shed some light on it and give it some attention because I think this is a really cool lore friendly set of armor. The author has even gone as far as to add some lore as to how the thing functions and I think it's just a really neat addition to Fallout 4's base game. This is going to be a unique set of armor. If you want to find it, you're actually going to need to head out to the Glowing Sea, where it can be found in the unmarked parking garage. Simply head in there, clear out the enemies, and it'll be found at the end near the boss chest. The idea behind this suit is that it was intended for Chinese special forces who are going to be spending large amounts of time deep in remote enemy territory. The suit actually has a specialized battery system built in that will constantly recharge the energy from the wearer's movements and is used to power the different attachments that you can equip at the armor workbench. The suit was designed specifically to resist American energy weapons, so it's going to have a very high energy resistance, but has very minor protection from small arms and irradiation. I really like that touch. Having a suit designed specifically for energy resistance is a really cool idea, and it offers a pretty interesting gameplay balance. Now this suit said that it has some pretty cool attachments, so let's head over to an armor workbench and check out what exactly this mod has to offer. Let's go ahead and start with the Chinese Specialist Helmet. Before we jump in, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. This has a base damage resistance of 15, an energy resistance of 30, radiation resistance of 25, an endurance of 1, a weight of 6 pounds, and a value of 1,000 caps. Now that is pretty high, but this suit is one of a kind, so if you sell it, you're not going to get another one. All right. Let's look at the modifications for the helmet. Let's go ahead and start with materials. Here you will see that you have your standard laminated resin, microcarbon, and nanofilament, each of which is going to give you even more damage and energy resistance. Moving on, we have the different firmware packages. The info software is going to relay information about the target you're looking at, such as level and health. The recon software will track tagged targets. The targeting software will highlight potential threats, and then the VATS software will allow you to have some improved VATS capabilities. And then there are some skins, but we'll take a look at those at the end once we've taken a look at the parts for the regular suit. So moving on to the full suit itself, and we're going to take a look at the stats. It has a base damage resistance of 30, an energy resistance of 200, and a radiation resistance of 50. It gives you a bonus of 2 strength, but a negative 3 agility, a stability modifier of 1, which means you're going to have improved recoil while wearing this, a weight of 15 pounds, and a value of 1,000 caps. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attachments. We do have the standard miscellaneous attachments like lighter build, padded, pocketed, asbestos lining, braced, brawling, cushioned, deep pocketed, lead lined, and muffled, as well as stabilized, aerodynamic, custom fitted, dense, ultralight build, biocom mesh, pneumatic, sleek, and weighted. I would highly recommend throwing on something like Stabilize, which is going to give you even better recoil control combined with the innate stat from this armor set. Now we also do have some hard points. We have the Energy Diverter. This is going to massively reduce the damage taken from energy weapons. You have the Geiger Counter, which is going to improve your radiation resistance. You have a radio beacon that will allow you to communicate with your followers, meaning that they will take less damage in combat. And then you have a rebreather, which is going to allow you to breathe underwater. And then finally, let's have a look at those skins. We have the Blue Demon, the Blue Star, the Brotherhood, the Captain's Blend, the Enclave, the Institute, the Minutemen, the Nuka Cola, the Outcasts. The Quantum. The Raider set, which is pretty similar to the standard set, but with some unique markings. The Railroad. The Silver Star. And then the Vim. Altogether, this is a pretty cool, unique set of armor here. I really like the aesthetic of this thing, and it's definitely cool and fitting in the lore-friendly sense. I always like taking a look at some of the tech outside of the US in the Fallout universe, and this is definitely a cool addition to the game, especially when we have things like the Chinese stealth suit, this fits right alongside it. It was definitely clear that a lot of work went into this thing, and I really wanted to shine some light on it, as I think this is a really great mod. So if you want to try it out yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you.